come upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Lord, we ask you also to bless all of us gathered here this afternoon on this happy occasion, to bless the food that we are about to receive now from your goodness, and also to bless the food already eaten by those who couldn't wait. <laughs> Amen. Oh, beautiful. Okay, sure. God love you. Beautiful. Here we go. Thanks. I'll take it. You got it. Yeah. Okay, Joe. Oh, good. Yeah. That's great. Isn't that great? Listen, I, I had no family idea business. when they... Yeah. Think, think of how you would have been fretting and fuming if you had known. See, it's sometimes ignorance is bliss. <laughs> No, I'm all set. I'm all set right over here, Joe. Right. Right. Okay. Get the family in there. Good. Great. Terrific. Oh, okay. Here we are. My son, Robert. We just did chat at me. Hello. I, I, I almost uh, would to show my teeth. But I almost... no, that's, right. <laughs> that's great. You got a great smile there, Joe. Long festivities uh, anticipated right now, except for I can tell you since the night of February, uh, at least once a day I heard Excuse well. Uh, I'm uh, going on 90, you know. Only <laughs> <laughs> about September, he said. Uh, I'm 90, aren't I? We kept <laughs> Please uh, enjoy yourselves, and we'll uh, get back to you after everybody's had a chance to eat. Put this down before, whether he was using it. I should. Mm. Are you wired to her? Otto put this on me for, uh, I think, when he was taking the, the pictures at the beginning. Go back to the it did. He had a tie-in with the uh, video camera there. The, uh... Is it off now? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. pressure later. <laughs> Sorry about that. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> yeah, one more time. Oh, we need matches. <laughs> I'll, get the, I'll get the one here. I'm not too bright, Joe. I took the wrong Yep. Yep. <laughs> Just blow it out anyway. <laughs> Oh, here we are. All right. We got to do it one more time for the Will you check to see if there's anything left under there? There we go. Here we go. Watch it. Watch it. Great, thanks. <laughs> That's what. That. The what? Watch that head, the face. No, no, not yet. Yep, here we are. One, two. You got to blow the candle out. You got to blow out the candle. He's too busy Okay. I'd be remiss. Oh, well, just just walk away from it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Here we are. You got the tie in there, the coat in there. 
Oh, you're all set. <laughs> well, here, then you do it. <laughs> We would be remiss if uh, we didn't say thank you to Marianne and Joan for the work that they did in organizing the uh, invitations and the tables and all of the arrangements for today. So I would like to specifically say thanks to Marianne and to Joan for having helped get this party together. Now, typically, uh, one would expect that we could expect some kind of a proclamation from the Pope on the occasion of the 90th birthday. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, he doesn't uh, send <laughs> birthday greetings to people who keep their pants above their knees. <laughs> So we did get uh, a special poster, which we invite all of you to sign today. And you may recognize it. And it says, remember, as far as anybody knows, we're a normal, nice family. Uh, I'm not too sure. <laughs> But you're invited to sign the poster. You may wonder about some of the other activities that Dad is semi-famous for over the years. And to commemorate those, uh, Mary Ann came up with a little gift. <laughs> no, it doesn't explode. <laughs> And this is your life on a t-shirt. Read it up, read it up. I'm 90, you know. Down the middle, it says, I'm 90, you know. And anybody who knows him and has seen him this year recognizes uh, where that comes from. Uh, there's Arlington, Jason Street, Grampy, a heart, Joe and Peggy, August 13th, 1932. St. Eulalia, <laughs> 143. The dogs that we had growing up, the princess and lady. State house in Boston with the domicile department, corp and tax. Aloha Kai, Siesta Key, using the binoculars. <laughs> Feeding the seagulls, a keyboard, Situate Lighthouse, a Malfi restaurant, an occasional glass of wine. Uh, there's a wallet there with a rubber band around it. Just in case he doesn't know where it went, it'll snap back into place and you'll never be without it. Famous last words, the hell with it. And his grandchildren will recognize the next one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the next one says, uh, do you ever feel really old? <laughs> February 9th, 1901, Cambridge Mass with 90 candles. And then the famous cars running across the bottom, Buicks, Cadillacs, and all the rest of it. So the back side then shows the family. The kids, the grandkids, and the great grandkids, followed by a question mark because there's still one on the way. <laughs> Not yours. Not yours. <laughs> you didn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> so this was your life, and there you are. Now, you may think that Dad has been retired for the last 20 years, and uh, he just changed jobs and activities. Well, one of the uh, things that he has been famous for is having joined the Audubon Society. And uh, 
down at Aloha Kai, each day, faithfully, twice a day, he goes out to watch the birds. <laughs> and he sits under that shade, and everybody thinks he's asleep. But every once in a while, up come the binoculars, and he says, oh, geez, did you see that one? <laughs> Isn't that terrible, terrible? Look at that, three little triangles. It's terrible. <laughs> yep. He also has been uh, the founder and organizer of a fairly uh, extensive club. And it's been known uh, through the family as the Peter Club. Now, well, we thought that the Peter Club referred to Peter Hickey, who is famous in the family. And I apologize for all the inside jokes. But uh, we found that that is the original founding father of the Peter Club. So we tried to get this bronzed for him, but unfortunately they wouldn't do it, so we just have to present him with a loaf of pita bread. What does pita mean? Oh, we'll never tell. <laughs> Apart from all of the levity and the inside jokes, it's time to be very serious. Uh, you may know that uh, Otto and Marianne recently traveled to London to see Kristen and to Ireland where they were able through the good auspices of their friend Father Vincent to visit the factory at Waterford. I won't give away what the article is, but I want you to know that they had a very special commemoration for today. So Otto, if you would please. Uh, okay. Something, yes. Dad, that we made up for you from Waterford. It's a very special tribute. You know how they make them up for the golfers? For everybody. It's one of the greatest pieces of glass made up with your name on it <laughs> and engraved. And we want to give it to you like you gave us many presents. And I'll give this to you now. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that's been to a family wedding recognizes where that came from, and it just seemed fair to get him at least once. <laughs> I'll try to glue it together. We'll take a couple of moments to cut the uh, cake, and Bob, if you want to... Uh, uh, Talk a moment or two about the uh, letters that we have received from folks who couldn't be here. Did he get We'd appreciate it. Young yeah. Bishop. Yeah. Yeah. Letters, we have letters. We have stacks and stacks of letters. You can see that genetically we are all inclined to follow in our father's footsteps. <laughs> and I gather his father's as well. So shy, oh my God. <laughs> This one says, Happy birthday, Uncle Joe. We're sorry that we can't be with you to attend your surprise party. Our mother is with us for Christmas. All the kids are home and all other excuses. And it's love, Chris, Diane. Who is this, Bob? Diane Young. Yeah. Diane Young said. Uh, Bob Doherty? Is that the one that we yeah, want to call a, on? He's related to a Gaffney. Yeah, OK. But his, his name is Bob Doherty. OK, good. <sighs> Yeah, you want me to open them and hand them to you? Yeah, thanks. On your 90th birthday to Uncle Joe, a treasured uncle, a second father, a beloved friend, John. John. Gertrude and Ed. Poem. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Get with the program here, boy. <laughs> Dear Uncle Joe, you're the most fortunate to have children who love you dearly. I'm sorry that I'm not with you on this happy occasion. My thoughts will be with you. Helen and I have the happy thoughts that we will be with you this winter. Count your blessings, Joe. You have wonderful children, Helen and Buddy Pierce. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the